So Gordon, we yeah. are standing in front of this wonderful mash tun. I don't think I've ever seen a mash tun so wonderful and shiny and well, new. It's great, isn't it? It is a little new, yeah. It's absolutely wonderful. So tell us what's happening here. What are we trying to do creating this war? Obviously, we want loads of sugars going on here, but what is it that you are looking for specifically here at Rosebank? Well, it's a little similar to Glengoyne. We're looking for clarity. We're okay. looking for a clear wort. Okay. So 3.2 tons of the grist, obviously, from the, uh, from the wonderful mill. In here, we've got hot water, all about enzymes. That's why barley's such a wonderful grain and used in so many other whiskies, like yeah. in bourbon or even in rye. You need those enzymes, so we have all those enzymes. 63.5 is that temperature that starts to kick start those enzymes to convert starch into sugar. That's what we're looking for. But what's really interesting here is we need those husks, that part from the grist, to lay in the bottom of the bed to become a filter. Okay. To catch some of those solids, giving us a clear wort. In a very general sense, clear wort pushes you down a fruity style. Fantastic. So already right from the beginning, we're going to start getting that light fruity style before we even become a spirit. Get this bit wrong, that's not going to save you. Absolutely. The point is you need to get it right here, get it right in fermentation, but you get the you get this wrong and you get the, maybe you change the, the rollers consistency on the mill, yeah. you get a snowball effect, you get problems down the line and it becomes a nightmare. 